Hello, my name is George Flagler, and I'm pleased to be presenting this video poster presentation. Disclosure of Affiliations, Financial and In-Kind Support. Uh, myself, George Flagler, I'm part of the Center for Research and Occupational Safety and Health at Laurentian University. Uh, Dr. Nancy Lightfoot is part of the School of Kinesiology and Health Sciences at Laurentian University and part of the Human Sciences Division for the Northern Ontario School of Medicine. Uh, Professor Jeanette Michelle uh, is, is part of the School of Kinesiology and Health Sciences at Laurentian University. Uh, this session and program has received financial support from the Center for Research and Occupational Safety and Health in the form of a seed research grant. Geographically, half of all COVID-19 cases in Ontario have occurred in 20% of the neighbourhoods. These locations are referred to as hotspots and typically house large portions of essential workers impacted by the pandemic, specifically vaccine rollout and vaccine hesitancy. Throughout the initial waves of the pandemic, essential workers were crucial for the continuity of service delivery. Statistics Canada reported that almost all occupational sectors have experienced higher than average worker absenteeism during the pandemic. COVID-19 inflicted major burden on employers and employees. The Provincial COVID-19 Tracker indicated that 84% of all people in Ontario received one dose, 80% two doses, and 45% three doses. As of 2023, there has been over 1.6 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Ontario and over 16,000 deaths. The confirmed cases in Ontario represent 35% of the national cases and 32% of the national deaths related to COVID-19. The province of Ontario was chosen for this study as it is the highest populated province in the country. This study aims to determine adult COVID-19 vaccination acceptance and impact in various occupational sectors in Ontario, if and how COVID-19 vaccine distribution has affected service delivery in Ontario, and if and how COVID-19 adult vaccination rates have affected service delivery in Ontario. Two theoretical frameworks were identified to guide this study. They were the health belief model and the theory of planned behaviour. There is evidence that both theoretical frameworks can effectively explore the psychological determinants of an individual's decision-making around vaccination. The study design selected for this research is a scoping review framework. The benefits of this study design include identifying trends and biases in research, as well as helping provide recommendations to help inform practice. The study covered the province of Ontario based on predefined regions set out by the Ontario Association of Local Public Health Agencies. 34 public health units in Ontario exist in seven clearly defined regions. Five occupational sectors were selected for the scoping review based on a representation of the province's industry and economic development. These five occupational sectors include healthcare, education, transportation, mining, and food services, hospitality. The North American Industrial Classification System was used as a method of sector coding and has been widely used in research with studies looking at the impact of COVID-19 on multiple sectors and essential workers. The specific literature inclusion criteria yielded 27 peer-reviewed journal articles and 27 grade literature resources. Vaccine mandates in the healthcare sector resulted in lost jobs and gaps in service, including healthcare worker shortages and lengthy ER wait times and extended ER closures. The education sector suffered significant disruption due to closures and reopenings, causing family pressures, with some educators taking leaves of absence, causing staffing shortages. The impact of the pandemic in the mining sector resulted in the first employment decline in over five years. Vaccination status in the mining sector was a polarizing issue with advocacy for both sides. The pandemic greatly impacted the growth trajectory of the transportation sector. The sector was identified with some of the highest confirmed outbreaks and cases among any sector. Impact of the pandemic resulted in disruptions to supply chains in bulk ocean freight, rail, and trucking services, resulting in limited availability of supplies and increased food costs. Food services hospitality workers experienced highest rates of job loss of any sector due to the pandemic. This resulted in over 60% of workers in this sector accessing the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit. There was significant variance between healthcare and other sectors, with healthcare representing over 40% of the total workplace cases, outbreaks, and hospitalizations in Ontario. An important consideration for this study was exploring the regional trends in COVID-19 workplace outbreaks and cases. Throughout the literature, the region of Toronto consistently had the highest rates of COVID-19 cases throughout the pandemic because of population density, highly dense housing, and large numbers of essential workers. Consideration should be made for demographic variables, which includes priority for the safety of young essential workers that need to work to support families. An accelerated vaccination of essential workers is projected to prevent many COVID-19 workplace outbreaks and infections, 
while reducing household and community transmission and providing indirect protection to older adults, especially in hotspot locations throughout Ontario. In conclusion, COVID-19 has caused a significant burden on workers, especially for a vulnerable workforce. Essential workers shouldered a disproportionate burden of COVID-19 transmission and deaths. The pandemic also significantly impacted Ontario's working sectors, with numerous sectors impacted by stoppages and closures due to workplace outbreaks and cases. Prevention strategies to mitigate sector-related stoppages and closures have been challenging to implement with an ever-changing virus that has disproportionately impacted essential workers in Ontario. Implementing an alternative vaccination strategy requires government and public health officials to fully understand approaches deemed the most effective for vaccination rollouts and prioritizing administration to minimize morbidity and mortality from COVID-19. Thank you.